Hey everybody, uh, it's video day. It's been a couple weeks since my last video, so I thought I would uh, do a video, a gear review on this uh, cloudy, cool day in Seattle. It looks like uh, summer is winding down. It was a good summer, but uh, looks like we're heading into fall. So today I'm doing a uh, gear review on the Yakima EXO swing base system, which is a modular uh, kind of hitch attached storage system that I added to the TRX. And so uh, why don't we go take a look about it, look at it. Uh, I'll talk about the what, the why and the where, and the good, the bad, the ugly. And then we just kind of go from there. So uh, there it is, uh, the swing base and have it all attached to my two inch hitch. And uh, I guess first, let's just talk about why. So, um, you know, the Ram TRX that I have, um, it has a short bed on it. And I've actually sort of um, reduced room in the bed even further because I have a Pace Edwards Lear uh, retractable tonneau cover with a basket on top. Uh, and so what I was finding during my glamping uh, 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 set up that I didn't have much room. I mean, this truck is huge, but with the short bed and adding the tonneau cover, which takes away some storage, um, my glamping uh, equipment and tools and things like that, uh, they weren't really fitting in there. And so as you look, you know, I, I have a lot of camping gear. So, you know, I'm pushing close to 50. Uh, I'm not trying to rough it, you know, so I have, you know, I, I'll have a, you know, huge sleeping bag, huge inflatable uh, a bed. I have a I have a Dometic fridge. <laughs> I mean, I got a, a Kodiak canvas tent. Uh, so it's a lot of gear. Um, moreover, I have a hundred pound dog, uh, Bo, my Rhodesian Ridgeback. And so yeah, it's just like I found when I was when I was getting ready to go camping and stuff and doing that. That you know, Bo was like packed like a sardine with equipment and, and camping gear in the back of the truck and uh, I was basically packed to the hilt uh, in the bed of the TRX and so I was sort of looking online saying okay well what can I do so I ended up adding the Yakima rails up top and then adding this basket that I just picked off from Amazon which is pretty heavy duty and I just said okay I'm gonna need uh, creative ways to get some more storage space and so after doing some research found out that Yakima, which actually makes the same brackets, I have the HD rails on the top of my bed, they made the EXO uh, swing base system. And what it is basically is it's kind of like operates, you know, like those uh, hitch bike racks that you see, except this is more suited for storage. And, uh, and I ended up picking it up. And so here is the swing base. We can just kind of look at it. And let me just kind of talk about what I like like about it, what I don't like about it, and what I hate about it. So in terms of what I like about it, um, it is a really heavy duty piece of equipment. It's built very well. Uh, it's heavy out the box and uh, you can feel um, that uh, and just tell from touching it, the weight and everything that it's put together really well and is heavy duty. So I really appreciated that. Now I'm talking about the swing base. I'll talk about the attachments, which I have more issues but the actual swing base is very well put together. And uh, if you look at my setup, it is, I, I basically have this kind of double decker setup, which required some attachments and I'll get into that. But as for the uh, actual swing base, here it is. And it attaches very easily on the two inch hitch that I have to the Ram TRX. Uh, it also has a locking mechanism, which is nice. Granted, if anybody wants to steal this, they're gonna be able to steal it. But the lock there, the Yakima locking system, um, adds some peace of mind. And it's really easy. It was easy, I mean, it was easy to install. Uh, they, it, one thing that I appreciated with Yakima is they gave very good instructions and they even gave some wrenches to be able, uh, uh, that fit the bolts that you need to attach everything. Uh, one thing I will suggest is that you have a torque wrench. Uh, some of the bolts that you use need to be tightened to 100 and 
NM, so I have a uh, electronic torque wrench, so I was able to use that to get the proper torque settings. Um, in terms of how it's worked, it's easy. I mean, you just plug it into the hitch, and then there's a bolt there in there. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll, you, uh, let's see if you can see it. And then you just attach the bolt in there and then the, uh, the other end is the locking mechanism and there you go. Uh, right now, the actual swing base, which is this right here, um, you can tell that um, uh, it's, it's retracted. All right, and so let me just show you how it works. So to basically uh, get this, so you can put accessories on this, you'll you'll uh, pull this lever here, and then the Yakima swing base, uh, the arms will just basically come out and uh, and lock. And so let's just do the other one. Bam, there you go. And so now you got the lockings. Now you got the uh, arms extended so you can put attachments on there. Um, on the top, I have sort of this, I added the kind of upper extension, which is this piece right here. And uh, it's also very well built. Um, the one thing that I will mention that the arms right here, they do not um, uh, uh, retract. And I wish they did. I think that would make it um, a little bit more stealth if you weren't using it, but it's still very well built. And so now, as you see, I have two levels. I have a bottom level to put an attachment down there, like the gear locker box or a basket. They also have a table that you can put on there. And then on the upper uh, bracket, I have, I ended up putting the Yakima basket on there. And so, yeah, there it is. It works really well. Uh, it's very sturdy. You feel like you have a lot of, you have a lot of confidence when you have it on there. And so I'm generally pretty happy with it. So the next uh, level, I guess, of uh, functionality is, you know, this is the EXO swing base, and the reason why they call it swing base is because, yes, it swings out, which is nice. Because one thing that I was uh, worried about if I got something like this is how easy would it be to access the bed of the TRX? And it makes it actually very easy. Uh, you have a system here that keeps the swing base in place. So right here, you just uh, pretty easily just undo this you pull this out and then BAM and so let's pull it out And there you go. So it's all swung out. And one thing, just, just to let you know that I actually can't, you look at this, let me just pull back. It looks like, oh great, you have full access to your bed. Well, one thing that I actually noticed is that uh, if you have like a certain attachment like I do on the upper base, the, uh, the, uh, the basket, when I actually try to pull this out, it actually uh, hitches up, or it, it, it basically gets stuck there. And so, easy enough, you just, let's just show you here. You'll undo this. And then bam, pull this out, there you go. And so it's, you know, I like the functionality. I mean, being able to swing out the bottom base and then even the top, you can swing that out and move it in a position so that now, bam, I got access to my bed which is just really nice. So not only do I have brackets for storage attachments on the actual swing base, but then I also have access to the bed, which is perfect. So on the bottom, I actually usually have a gear locker on here and I'll actually, I'll show that gear locker, I'll put it on uh, and tell you about it. But again, right now I have the Yakima basket on the top and then on the bottom I can either put the uh, basket or the gear locker, okay? 
So in terms of, again, what I like about it, just very well built. I love the functionality of being able to switch it out or to swing it out. Uh, and I like the fact that the top, I can swing this as well. Um, they do have like a table attachment and I've seen some people put the table on top of it. But if you kind of pull back, it's pretty high. So I don't really know how functional the table is if you use it on the top. I mean, on the bottom, you could use it, you know, to, I don't know, for cooking or putting gear and stuff like that while you're at camp. But I feel like the basket in the gear locker is uh, what works best for me. Um, let's see, in terms of uh, things that I have some issues with, one is the price. It's expensive. <laughs> so I can get, I can post some links on the price in, uh, in the comment section or in the summary of the video, but it's kind of pricey. Now for the actual swing base, I thought it was worth it. Uh, I think it's like, I don't know, $500 or pretty close to that, but it's just a really well built piece of steel and it gives a lot of confidence. The rail is, I think, pretty cheap for what you pay for it. I mean, it works. It's a, uh, it's a basket, not a rail, uh, excuse me, uh, but it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel very heavy duty, but it will definitely work. Um, I actually prefer my Amazon cheapy basket up here, which I think is actually built pretty well. And it was just as expensive as this basket, but it's a lot bigger and I think a lot sturdier. Um, let's go talk about the gear locker that I have for this. Okay, so this is the uh, Yakima gear locker uh, that attaches to the EXO swing base. And, you know, on first glance, you look at it and say, ah, oh, that looks pretty good. You know, it's a nice black, um, it's, it's large, it uh, looks like it can hold a lot of gear. And, and you think, oh, okay, well, maybe the $450 price tag is worth it. But then when you feel it though, it's just, it's just flimsy. I mean, I think for what you pay for it, it should be um, a lot thicker, a lot more heavy duty. Um, I actually think this box is pretty cheap. Now, is it gonna work for me? Yeah, it'll work for me, but I'm guessing it might last a year or two because it just doesn't feel very solid. It's, it's, it just doesn't. And so um, I have some concerns about it. Uh, probably the biggest concern is the hinges. So let's see if we can get in here and look and see these hinges. So here's the hinge and they're plastic, they move around, uh, they, the, the action isn't very smooth. They're just cheap hinges. And for a $450 box, uh, you would think that they would do a better job with the hinges. Um, I have to be very careful when I'm opening and closing this. I'm worried that if I hit it the wrong way, the hinges will break or come out. And so that's an issue. Uh, they do give you uh, tie down areas um, in the box, which is nice so you can kind of control weight distribution in terms of where you're putting everything but again the fact that this is a pricey piece of equipment um, and it's so flimsily made I would think that for the price point you get almost like a pelican type box quality but instead I think it's pretty cheap so you know uh, do I have any regrets no I need the storage I love the swing base I love the modular design but my one big complaint is that that the box, the gear locker, in my opinion, isn't very good. Okay, so now I've put the Yakima uh, gear locker on the swing base, and as you can see, it lo it's 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 it looks good. I think it it fits. It doesn't look awkward or weird. Like sometimes you see bike racks, and you're like, uh, that doesn't look right. But I think they did a pretty good job in terms of design on this. To attach the Yakima gear locker and other accessories, it's pretty easy. There is a rail system that is proprietary, so you can't just put any box on here. Uh, and it slides right in. And as you see these knobs, which are locking, you basically turn right to tighten it, left to loosen it. And obviously there's a Yakima, uh, a 
Yakima key system so you can actually lock it. In terms of access, you know, I have the double decker system here, so I can't open this obviously if I have the, the, the top shelf here. But the thing is, is this swings. Remember I showed you how this swings. And so basically when I'm in camp, I just extend it, swing this out. And actually I can even just show you. Let's just pull this out. Nice and easy. Bam, swung out. And then I just swing the top. Very easy. And there you go. Now I, ha now I can be able to access this. Right? So it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it, it offers a lot of storage. I mean, this is a pretty big box. Granted, I think the box is uh, not well made, like I told you, but uh, it, 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 it does have a lot of space and will protect from the elements. And then obviously on the top, I can just put things up here um, as necessary. So yeah, there you have it, the EXO Yakima Swing Bay. So, you know, to recap, um, I love the, the uh, build quality of the actual base. Um, I love that I get a, uh, a lot of extra storage with it for the TRX. I got a enclosed box and I have a top uh, basket and I've already used it. It's very heavy duty. I really like that. In terms of what I don't like, I don't like the cost. I think it's a little pricey especially for the accessories considering um, how much you're paying for it. I think the hinges uh, suck and the basket it works but I feel like it should be a little bit more heavy duty considering the price point. There are some things that are kind of TRX specific um, that you have to consider with the EXO swing base. One, you don't see my license plate. So I don't know if law enforcement is gonna get, is gonna hassle me, but uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. You have no access to the uh, uh, the license plate. And so that could be an issue. Of course, I can put uh, a license plate maybe in the back window or attach it onto the, the back box. Um, another thing is, is if you have sort of rear camera sensors, that's gonna cause issues. So um, I have a backup beeping and sensor system. I've already disabled all on the TRX, the auto brake uh, safety feature because it's annoying and it doesn't work very well. But unfortunately, what I'm finding is that when I back up with the EXO, EXO system, it doesn't kind of treat it like it's in tow mode. It just feels like it just, the, the truck thinks there's actually something right behind you. So I get a very annoying beep. And I, you know, I need to just go through my user manual. I know how to turn the volume down on the beep uh, for the backup sensor, but I haven't been able to turn it off completely. So that is something that you should consider. If the backup camera is really important to you or you like the rear view camera uh, while, uh, to look at it while you're driving or backing up, the, if you use the EX, EXO swing base system that attaches to your hitch, then it's going to be annoying. So frankly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just take off the EXO swing base uh, whenever I'm not using it So and only put it on when I need the storage for example when camping. So yeah, the TRX is uh, coming together. You know, I think I'm outfitting it well for off-road use and outdoor use and camping and stuff like that. And I've added a lot of storage on it with my upper basket and my EXO swing base uh, hitch attachment. And I have some protection also with the Pace Edwards Lear to no cover. And then obviously the Yakima gear locker that um, attaches to the swing base. So yeah, TRX is really coming along. I'm really enjoying it. And soon I will have another video coming. Let's see what this goodie is. What's that? Oh yeah, that is an ARB air compressor on board. Uh, just picked that up. That will be another video, but I'm gonna attach that uh, hopefully in the engine bay. So yeah. And there she is. 
So I hope you liked the video. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you like the channel, um, please subscribe. I will be doing definitely more upgrade videos for the TRX and hopefully start doing more motorcycle videos, uh, which I haven't done in a while because I've been so obsessed with the TRX. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll try to get more videos out. And uh, yeah, until the next time. Thanks.